7th Annual is a little bit more in the Osceola district. We want to kind of kind of bring in the history of Osceola. Also bring in the community of the artists. It's super awesome because we're in the 1881 restaurant and bar location. Mm -hmm. This is one of the oldest landmarks here in Kissimmee. Um, this bar? In the, yeah. This oh, cool. Bar. So it's super awesome. It's been here since like the 1800s, honestly. It's amazing. And the history in the building, the community itself, mm -hmm. it's really awesome to bring it all together. So super excited. We're deliberating right now as we speak, and then we're going to do an award ceremony at the venue space. That's going to allow us to get three of our contestants that are the winners, and then they have the um, opportunity to showcase any of their art, any of their collection in our magazine. So that's what we're really looking forward to. So this is organized by Central Florida Lifestyle Magazine. So we're super excited. Yeah, cool. super excited. As far as the event goes, I think it's pretty clear what you guys are about yeah. and what you're doing. Again, that's great. bringing in the community. That's what we want. We want to highlight a the richness of the historic landmark for the community. That's really what we want to hone in on. You know, we need to do this more often, to be honest. I participate in um, Miami, like three times in different galleries over there. And um, this is just the first time for me in Kissimmee. I'm so happy. So let's see if we can do this more often. Oh, that's so yes. cool. And Thank that's you so much. guitar right there, too? Yeah, it is. Oh, cool. Do you ever make it? Uh, do you ever do art on guitars that are, uh, you know, being played on? Or no, to be like honest, retired? this is my first one, and I'm trying to do more. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's cool. And that's it's cool. not finished, to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to bring it in here and let's see what happens. Everybody it's a love great it. Way to retire a guitar, anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So this piece right here, I threw all of my emotions into this. I literally was going through something one day, and I was like, I want to express myself, and I was like. Let me go get a canvas. And I didn't know what I was gonna put on this canvas. This came out of that. I call this the exchange, Ashes for Beauty, because what I was going through came out on this canvas and it turned into something beautiful. I had to trust the process. I had a reference up until I got to where I went to tweak it my way, through the reference away. I was like, I don't even need it no more. So I'm gonna tweak it a little bit and then I'm gonna add myself in there. And once that came, the reference was gone, I started coming, my emotions start coming out on the canvas. And so here we are. Very therapeutic. When I got finished, I looked at it, I'm like, what's that mean? What I wanna do with painting is express. I don't wanna just paint just to paint. Some people do. I wanna go through something and just throw out my emotions on it because you never know what you're gonna get when you do that. You get something beautiful. My go-to colors for like a majority of my paintings are pink, green, and blue, just because it's like a easy color palette to work with. And it's complimentary, but also like, you know, the blues and the greens go together and the pink makes, makes it stand out a little. It is a little fun to mess with these colors because like I got to come up with new ways to make them like go together. Like I have paintings where like the background's pink the subject is green and then the other the flowers or whatever I have along with it is blue but yeah like these are like, I like that one. thank you no, I don't use any other kind of pencil except for mechanical yeah I mean the reason why I use a mechanical is because you know with a regular pencil you got to keep sharpening and sharpening and sharpening a lead pencil you just oh there goes no lead it's sharp <laughs> sharp as it needs to be you know that one I didn't think I could do it as I didn't think I could do it to the degree that I wanted it to be. Like I didn't think I could execute it as to the top level because I had the idea, but I was like, how am I going to do it? And so once I actually did it and I executed, I was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I got to believe in myself. I know I can draw, but I didn't think I could do it. I thought it would be too complex. So, and then this one, just because the, the message behind it um, is essentially like, have you ever looked in the mirror and you see yourself? but you feel like you're not really seeing yourself or you're, pre you're disconnected from the perception okay. of yourself. So, you know, she's looking in the mirror and who she is in real life is not who she is in the mirror. So she's sad because she knows she can't be who she is in real life. The person she sees in the mirror. Art is very eccentric and you can have large pieces, you can have small pieces and sometimes it's, some, it's nice for somebody to be able to have something small even to take. I started it with this warrior woman collection because it's, I want 
people that appreciate my art and look at my art to be able to resonate with it, right? So if I attach facial details, I feel like it actually gives the painting an identity and it makes it less likely for whoever's looking at my art to see themselves as that warrior, right? So I keep the faces blank because I want anybody to look at it and be like, yes, that could be me. I can, I signify with it and I resonate with it. And that's why it's been kind of lingering into all of my rest of my work. This one is actually one of the latest that I've done. Um, this is the one that I submitted to the art contest. Um, I did the same concept. I stretched the canvas myself and I added a, a different trim border to it. I really love it. It's, it reminds me of, I'm from Jersey. So it reminds me up north when you're running out in the summer, you're ready to enjoy the summer nights, you know. And so is, is that is that you? No, it's not. It's just a, it's just a persona. I don't know. Okay. It's a, I guess a persona that I I, I can signify with, and um, it's just it reminds me of those really cool summer nights. I named the "Cruel Summer" as like the, the song "Cruel Summer" by Bananarama. Yeah. So when I listened to it, I was like, oh, I have to do a piece to this. And huh, I named okay. it "Cruel Summer." My website is commonvibearthouse.com. Okay. I try to create it as a network, and I, lo I love connecting with other people that are on the same vibe, the same energy, right? And um, art, art is a great way to connect with people. Thank you.